is Dr. Sachin Danani. I am working in KIDS College of Engineering as an assistant professor for the last 18 years. I am teaching the course Engineering Maths 1, Engineering Maths 2, Engineering Maths 3. Today we are going to start with Engineering Maths 1 course. In that course, we are going to start with unit number 1, complex numbers. Now, let us see what is basically complex numbers. Now, complex numbers are the numbers of the form A plus BI, where A and B are real numbers and I is the imaginary unit with the property I square equal to minus 1. So, this is the definition of complex number. So, basically complex number is written as z is equal to a plus b i, where a is the real part and b is the imaginary part, i is the imaginary unit. Now, the real part of z is written as a and the imaginary part of z is written as b. So, this is the notation for a complex number. For example, if I write z is equal to 3 plus 4i, then 3 is the real part and 4 is the imaginary part. So, this is the notation. Now, here real part of z is 3 and imaginary part of z is 4. So, this is the notation we are going to use for the complex number. Now, there is one more concept in complex number and that is uh, modulus and argument of a complex number. So, modulus, what is modulus? Modulus is nothing but r is equal to under root of a square plus b square, which represent the distance of complex number from origin in complex plane. Now, argument is nothing but tan inverse b upon a, we call it as theta, which represent the angle z makes with the positive real axis in the complex plane. I have shown a complex number in Argon's diagram. Now, this is the point which we will represent in the Argon diagram. So, here distance from x axis is 3 and distance from y axis is 4 and the distance from origin is said to be the modulus which is nothing but under root of 3 square plus 4 square and which is 5. So, the distance from origin is 5 which we call it as a modulus of a complex number. What is theta here? Theta is nothing but tan inverse b upon a. So, that is tan inverse 4 by 3, tan inverse 4 by 3 that is theta here that is the theta here. So, which is represent from uh, angle represented from positive x axis. So, here I have given one example z is equal to 1 plus i. Now, here the real part of z is 1, imaginary part of z is 1 and the modulus r is under root of 1 square plus 1 square that is root 2 and theta is tan inverse 1 upon 1 which is pi by 4. So, in that way, we can represent the uh, complex number. So, I hope you have understood the basic concepts of complex number. Now, where complex numbers are used, let us see, complex numbers are the fundamental in electrical engineering. I have taken here one example. Now, complex number are used in many branches, but I have taken one example in electrical engineering, especially in AC circuit analysis. So, complex number are used to express impedance, uh, which is the crucial notion in this domain. Now, the real part represent the resistance and the imaginary part represent the reactance. Thank you.